Good morning. Welcome to our Pilates Yoga Combo this Monday, June 29th. We're going to start out with some Pilates to get the body all warmed up and build some inner core strength and then we'll finish off with some nice relaxing yoga that will send us on our way for a lovely day. Things to remember, always focus on your breathing and pay attention to your form. If something feels very uncomfortable or painful, it's not being done correctly. So you have to listen to um, the cues that I give you and take breaks when you need to. So if there, there's not a competition, we're just working at our own level and we're just really being mindful of how our body is moving through the practice. Let's go ahead and relax a little bit down on our backs. Let your arms rest at your sides, palms open face to the sky. Then close our eyes and begin to breathe deeply in through the nose, expanding our belly back and rib cage as we inhale. Exhaling out through the mouth. While we're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, become aware of our arms long and straight at our sides. Stretch from your shoulders to your fingertips. So think about really tensing the muscles in your arms and just feeling their length. Then let's relax the arms. We'll do the same with our legs. Stretch our legs from our hips to our toes. Really just tense up the muscles in the legs. Keep the rest of the body relaxed. And then go ahead and relax your legs. Shifting awareness now into the belly. We're going to pull down on the back side of our navel as if we're holding it against our spine, without holding our breath, without tensing the rest of the body. And then feel that relax. Try again, navel to spine, hold it in super tight. We're not holding our breath, We're not tensing anything but the belly. And relax. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale behind you and stretch out through your fingers and I want you to push out through your heels. Think about pulling your big toes closer together but keeping your heels apart. And while we're stretching long and lengthening, there's no shrugging of the shoulders, no tension in the neck. And then we feel everything go soft. We'll inhale the arms back up towards the sky. Exhale, return them to your sides. Once there, it's the right knee against the chest for a nice close hug and a point and flex of our foot. We work from our heel to our toes. And then we can draw a nice deliberate circle leaning with your big toe towards the midline of your body. Feeling all parts of that ankle in movement and then just rest your foot. And I want you to spread your toes out super wide. Scrunch them up really tight. Spread them super wide. Scrunch them tight. Spread them wide. Scrunch them tight. And then just relax. Switch out your legs. In goes the left, out goes the right. Starting with just a point flex of that foot. And then we're going to rotate the ankle, lead with your big toe. And then we'll just let the foot relax. Spread your toes out wide. Scrunch them tight. Spread out wide. Scrunch tight. Once more, spread wide. And then scrunch them up tight. And then just let your foot relax. How about both knees in? Give yourself a well-deserved hug. Just keep the shoulders relaxed. And we'll rock a few times side to side, massaging our spine. Come back to neutral and circle the knees around and around. Massage the lower back. And then how about we reverse? These are all really nice things to do upon waking each morning to kind of wake up your body. Give yourself another nice tight hug. 
And while there, we're going to tighten the belly like we practice. Press through the back of your ribs. Round up nose to knee and chin to chest. Let's release and come back down. Try again. Round up nose to knees, chin to chest. And release back down. Once again, round up nose to knees, chin to chest. Let's stay there. Extend the left leg out. Keep the right knee in. Bring the left knee in and we'll switch. Extend the right leg. And then again, both knees are in. Now we'll make that nice little triangle. Thumb and index finger resting lightly on the back of your head. Separate the knees, heels touching toes apart. Inhale your legs straight out. Exhale back in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. Two more, push, one more, push and pull. This time as we push, bring your big toes together, heels apart. Pull back in, heels together, toes apart. So we've got an arrow and a B. Arrow, B, rotate. In, open, in, open. Rotate, two more, rotate, one more, rotate, hold. Now bring knees and feet together, we scrunch up all the toes, push out through your arches, pull back in, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's continue that, but flex your feet, push out through your heels, pull in, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two to go, inhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Now just send the legs out straight, we'll point and flex. Got four, three, two, and one. Hold there. Arms at your sides, off the mat, palms facing up. Start to pump powerfully. A good six to eight inch high pump. Using the entire arm from your shoulders to your fingertips. Level two, feel free to modify it by bending your knees. Level one, you can modify it even more by resting your feet on the floor. together, arms behind us on the mat with relaxed shoulders. As we inhale, the arms float up towards the sky, the shoulders drop back, we exhale, scoop the belly in to peel up as far as we can come up, then we inhale and exhale, press back down one vertebra at a time. Inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back, exhale, use your belly to pull you forward, inhale, exhale, tuck and roll back down. Again, inhale, lift your arms. Drop your shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can. Big inhale. Exhale, tuck and roll back down. Inhale, lift your arms. Drop your shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can. Big inhale. Exhale, tuck and roll back down. Now, if you're confident that you're not engaging your legs, push them out straight. Inhale, arms up. Drop your shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can go. Big inhale. Exhale, tuck and roll back down. Again, inhale, lift your arms. Drop your shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can go. Big inhale. Exhale, tuck and roll back down. Again, inhale, lift your arms. Drop your shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can go. Big inhale. Exhale, tuck, and roll your body down. Let's try one more. Inhale, lift the arms. Down, go your shoulders. Exhale, using the belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can go. Inhale, and then exhale as we tuck and roll down. Once we've made it down, we simply stretch out by pushing out through the heels. Reach out through our fingertips. And then pull the knees into the body for another nice tight hug. Press down through the back of your ribs. Let's round up into our C-shape. Arms at our sides, palms facing open. Gonna bend the elbows, fingertips rest on our shoulders. 
Inhale, arms and legs go straight. Open, close your legs. Exhale, tuck your knees, elbows. Inhale, push straight. Open, close. Exhale, 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 knees, two more. Inhale, push straight. Open, close. Exhale, knees, give me one more. Inhale, push straight. Open, close. Exhale, knees, elbows, and hold it. Let's tuck our knees back in. Send your head down and breathe. Now we're ready for leg circles. So our right leg is super straight. We've got our toes on the ceiling, directly above us. We can either keep our left knee back with our foot on the mat or push our left leg out nice and straight. Arms at our sides, palms facing the sky. Right leg crosses left, circles out and up. So I want you to draw a circle on the ceiling that's about the size of a large beach ball. And while that leg is circling up there, there's no movement in your pelvis. There's no movement in that left leg. And there's no movement from the waist up. Each circle has its own beginning and end point. Last two. One more. And then we go the other way, out and around, in and up. Last two. One more. And hold there. Now bring the other leg up. Legs are together. We're going to inhale, drop about halfway down. Exhale, they come around and back together. Inhale down. Exhale around. So here's a double leg movement, which is going to be very challenging to the lower belly, very difficult on your lower back if your abs are not doing their job. So if you're feeling this in your lower back, make sure that you've got your belly button super tight. And if you've got it as tight as you possibly can, you'll still feel it in that lower back. You're only going to go about a quarter of the way down and form your circle. Let's do one more and hold there. Now we can switch legs. So now let's make the left leg the one reaching to the sky. Right knee bent, foot on the mat, level one. Or right leg pushed out straight, level two. Left leg crosses right, circles out and up. Inhale, around and down. Exhale, pull. Again, really pulling tightly in on the belly. Do not tense your shoulders or your neck. No scrunching up your face. No using that lower back. Last two. One more. And let's stay. Now both legs are going to circle around to the right, then come back around to your left. So this is the corkscrew, and these circles are smaller. So they're going to remain about the size of a basketball. I want those circles to be directly above our face, which means we have really, really straight legs. We're holding that belly super tight, so we're not feeling any movement anywhere but in the circling legs. Here's our last set. There's our last circle. And hold it. Now go ahead, tuck your knees in. Ah, whew, good job. From there, let's go ahead and roll ourselves up. And today we're gonna roll like a ball. So if you're rolling like a ball, 
You want to keep our thighs really, really close to the body. Find your balance on your tailbone. Big toes touching, heels slightly apart, shoulders relaxed. You're going to simply tuck your nose down between your knees, resting your chin on your chest. Level two is the same thing, but you can bring your hands across your shins. So we're using only the belly to pull us back, and then only the belly to bring us back up again. So what we're not doing is we're not rolling back out to our neck. We're not pulling ourselves back by tossing our head back or pulling back with our shoulders. And we're not getting ourselves back up by kicking our legs. When we really feel the belly doing the work, it tightens to pull us back. And it has to tighten even more to come back up. Let's all try two more. Our final one. And we're gonna remain in our nice tucked in position. That's gonna lead us now into single leg stretch. So let's keep the right knee and extend your left leg and roll back. Into our C shape, we've got our shoulders off the mat. Left hand's atop the right knee, right hand goes atop the right ankle, elbows are up, and we alternate. Knee to chest and toes to wall. Reach, 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 reach. Eight, six, four, three, two. Now big hold. Switch and hold. Switch and hold. Switch and hold. Last two, switch hold. Last one, switch hold. Now bring both knees in. We're still in our C-shape, double leg stretch. Hands are on your ankles, or maybe up here on your shins, or down there on the tops of your feet. Doesn't matter, but we're gonna stay up in our C-shape. We inhale, start reaching up, extend the arms and legs out. Exhale, sweep the arms around, tuck the knees in. Inhale, stretch, exhale, pull. Let's do one more, and then we're just gonna reverse the arms. So the arms are gonna go out and back, and then pull in. Two to go. One more. Hold on. Straight single leg stretch. Right leg is straight. We're aiming for the ankle. If we can't reach the ankle, cap is okay. What's not okay is having your hand behind your knee or below your knee. It's got to be calf or higher. Nice straight leg. Left leg is also straight. Start by drawing the right leg towards your face, pulling your left leg away from your face, and then we switch. So on this one, we're simply guiding our leg into place with our hands. We're not yanking it or forcing it in any way. And I want you to really think about pulling your legs away from one another. All right, so it's not about getting one toe on the ceiling and one leg to the floor. It's about getting that one leg forward towards your face and just pulling the other leg as far away from that one as you can. How about final four and three? There's two and one. All right, now both legs come together. You can rest your head down for a moment. We'll all form a nice triangle with your thumb and index fingers. Level one, insert said triangle under your butt. Keep your butt on the triangle. That's gonna help your lower back and your belly. Level two, you're gonna keep your butt pressed into the mat, but that triangle is gonna rest lightly on the back of your head. Tightening the belly, everybody come up into your C shape. Now we inhale, drop slowly, one, two, three. Exhale, the legs snap up, inhale, lower. So if you had a card, Underneath our tailbone, when you're popping your legs up, you should not be able to pull that card out from under your butt because you're not lifting it off the mat. Let's try two more. One more. And hold there. All right, head down for a moment. Knees come back in. We're back up into our C shape. Everybody right knee and left leg out. Everybody triangle. Back of the head, elbows wide. Start with just the legs. In, in, in. 
and sit to go straight in, straight out, nothing else moves. Four, three, two, one. Now stay, lift a little higher. Opposite armpit comes up to that bent knee, and then we switch. Lift, twist, 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 lift, twist. We've got eight, and six, how about four, three, two, one. Big hold. Switch hold, switch hold, last one, switch hold. Knees together, hands down, woo. Good, couple knee circles, and reverse. And then just rest your feet on the mat. Let's cross our left leg over our right leg, stretch your arms wide, let your knees fall to the right as we look left, and ah, that should feel good to the, that waistline. Let's come on up and we'll switch. Crossing right over left, same thing. Now let your knees fall left. Keeping that right shoulder down. Good, and then we're back to neutral. Let's uncross the legs. Now let's keep our feet spaced apart about hips distance. We've got our toes and heels out slightly. Arms come close to the body, palms facing the sky. And keep enough space between your butt and your heels so that when we lift up into bridge, you're activating back here, not on the top of your thighs or your knees. So we're tightening the belly and slowly leaving the mat one vertebra at a time. Once you've made it to the top of your bridge, check in. Make sure you're not feeling any weight in your neck and you're not feeling any strain or stress in your knees or activation in your quads. And then exhale, slowly melt back down. Again, tighten the belly and slowly rise. Push your hips up nice and high, hold it there. Exhale, melt back down. Again, tightening the belly as we're slowly peeling up. Hold your bridge and exhale back down. Let's try again, tightening as we lift. Now once we're there, let's pull the knee and extend up towards the sky, and let's low and lift that leg. Flex, point, down, up, down, up, down, up. We've got four, three, two, and one. Now keep the leg up super high. Small circle up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Big stretch, hold. Let's rebend, set that foot down, we'll switch, opposite knee in, start out nice and straight, lower lift, down, up, flex, point, down, up, down, up, down, up, four, three, two, and one. Stay up, a little higher, circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, stay. Let's rebend, place the foot down, press your hips a little higher, a little higher, hold that nice tight squeeze. Now let your arms float up towards the sky. And then as we exhale, start to come down, one vertebra at a time. Ooh, and once it's all the way back down on the mat, we can pull the knees back in, there's our nice strong hug. Couple knee circles to massage through the lower back. And then we can reverse. And then just keep your knees tucked in super tight. Let's tighten the belly, press through the back of the ribs. Round yourself back up into that C shape. And then from there we're gonna roll up. Whew. And then once we're up, let's sit up nice and straight and tall. We're gonna work on spine stretch. So let's separate our legs no wider than our hips. Flex your feet so your legs stay nice and stiff. So if you find it challenging to sit with your legs straight and your back straight, that just means your hamstrings are tight, you're pulling on your spine. So you can use a mat that's rolled up or you can insert a pillow under your butt. I'm gonna start with the arms extended, palms facing the sky. Inhale in preparation. On the exhale, I want you to start tightening your belly. While that's happening, you're gonna drop your chin to your chest. Head through the arms and you're pushing out through fingers and feet. 
And then inhale, rise, lower, middle, upper spine, and head. Try again, exhale, scoop the belly and round out your spine. Drop your head through your arms, put your chin on your chest. And then inhale, let's rise, lower, middle, upper spine, head. Again, exhale, scooping the belly and round out your spine, dropping chin to chest, pushing out through fingers and feet. And then inhale, lifting up, lower, middle, upper spine, and head. Exhale again, scoop the belly in, push out through fingers and feet, really round and scoop in. And inhale, lift up, lower, middle, upper spine. How about one more? Exhale, scooping the belly in, round out your spine, push out through fingers, reach out through those heels. Inhale, back up, lower, middle, upper spine, and head. Let the arms come down. And now let's bring the legs closer together. We're going to still remain in our nice, tall, seated position, sending the arms out wide this time, palms facing up. Got a nice cup of tea sitting on the top of your head. As you exhale, we're going to tighten the belly and rotate to one side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist, pulse, other side. So we've got twist, pulse, center. Twist, pulse, center. Twist, twist, center. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Just imagine that you've got cement poured on your legs. So your legs cannot move. Twist, pulse, center. Twist, pulse, center. Twist, pulse, center. Twist, pulse, couple more. Twist, pulse, center. Twist, pulse, here's one more. Twist, pulse, center, stay. And let your arms come down. Let's do some shoulder rolls from back to front. Good, and then I want you to make your arm circles bigger. And just kind of let the weight of your arms pull them around. Whew, good, and then just relax. All right, if you're using some sort of elevation, you can come off that elevation. And let's bend our knees. We'll place our hands behind our thighs, relax our shoulders down and away from our ears, and then simply find your balance on your tailbone. Once you found your balance, make sure the belly button stays tight to keep the back straight, and then start lifting your feet. Go where you can without rounding your back. Once you found your balance spot, we'll add the arms. And then we're gonna lower and lift down, up, down, up, down, up. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Now let's open slowly down, down, down to the ground. Woo, flex your feet, push out through your heels. Reach all the way out through your fingertips. And then go ahead and feel your body get a little soft. Next, I want you to keep one leg straight, bend one knee foot on the mat, and that's gonna simply allow you to roll onto your side, and then continue to roll until you're on your belly. And let's stretch the arms and the legs out long and straight. Reach a little farther with your right arm and your left leg, and then add some lift. Come back down and switch. Left arm, right leg, extend and lift. Lower down, switch again, extend and lift. Lower down, switch one more, extend and lift. And then lower back down. And let's try both together, extending first and then rising up. Now let your arms go wide. And then let your arms come right down alongside you so your hands are pressed against your thighs. or stretching out through the tips of your toes and the top of your head. And then from there, we're gonna melt all the way down. Just turn your eyes to one side. Breathe. Let's place our hands under our shoulders. Let your elbows tuck in close to your body. Start to lengthen out through the top of your head and then push down through your tops of your feet and your hip bones. 
and start to lift away from the mat. Continue to lift and push all the way back until your tailbone meets your heels and your forehead meets the mat. And there's our extended child's pose. While we're here, rotate your palms more towards the sky and feel the stretch go even deeper down alongside your ribs. Flipping palms over, spreading out fingers nice and wide. Scoop the belly and then let's round up for a cat stretch. And then sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart cow. Try again, exhale as you round for cat. Inhale, open for cow. Exhale, round cat. Inhale, cow. Once more, exhale, round for cat. Inhale for cow. And then just make your way back to the neutral spine. Let's extend the left leg behind us and push out through the left heel. Reach the right arm forward, bringing us into spinal balance. Come back down and we'll switch. Right leg extends and left arm comes forward. Let's lower and switch again. From there, just bring your right hand down, set your left toes down, and then let's step the right foot back and show me your plank. So remember your hand position. Remember we're bearing weight into the hands. We've got widespread fingers, hands rotated in slightly, and we can feel the weight pressing into our index finger knuckle area, lifting the outer edges of your palm. Good, and then let's come back to all fours. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart for cow. Exhale, round for cat. Once again, cow. And then cat. And then just come back to neutral. Extend the right leg and the left arm. Bring the left hand down, set the right toes down. Step the left foot back, show your plank. Now from plank, let's push up into down dog. So let your head drop through your arms. Feel your rib cage pulling closer and closer to your thighs. And feel the back of your shoulder blades being drawn towards your gluteals. Nod your head yes. Shake your head no. And then just let it be. And we'll walk our dog a few times, lift and lower each heel individually. Raise up both heels and push them back down. Good, and then from there, let's come back down onto all fours. Separate the knees, touch your big toes. Let's go back into extended child's pose and breathe. Let's tuck our toes again, send our tailbone towards the sky. Downward facing dog. Now take a giant step forward with your right foot. We want to get that foot right up in between our hands. We want to make sure our right knee is over our ankle, our weight is in our big toe, second toe, and our eyes are looking out. So in runner's lunge, you should feel some good stretch in the right hamstring and that left hip flexor. That's what we're looking for. Once you've established balance, see if you can open your arms to become an airplane. Then let your hands return to the mat. Let's sink down onto that left knee, press through the top of your left foot, send the arms high to the sky, crescent moon. Let the arms open, start to rotate left. Looking out over your right hand. Bring the right hand to the mat. Send that left hand towards the sky. Exhale, come back around. 
straddling our right foot. We tuck our left toes, lift our left knee. We're back at our lunge. Send your right foot back into plank. Press back up into down dog. Now step the left foot forward. Knee over ankle. Weight is in our left big toe, second toe. Eyes are looking out. We found our balance. We're strong and sturdy. We have the arms for airplane. We let our hands return to the mat. Drop down onto the right knee. Press to the top of your right foot. Rise to the sky. Crescent moon. As we open the arms, let's rotate right. Look out over that left palm. Lower your left, lift your right. Breathe. Exhale, that hand back down. Straddling the left foot, we took our right toes under, we're back in our lunge. And this time we're gonna step the right foot forward. And once we're there, we want our toes in, our heels out slightly. I want you to press your ribs against your thighs, so maybe you have to bend your knees, that's okay. And cradle your elbows in the palms of your hands. And just allow your body to let go. We'll release our fingertips to the mat, and from there, slowly roll we'll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale into your heart. Inhale again to the sky. And exhale to the heart. Inhale to the sky. Exhale. Let's fold the body forward. Inhale, let's look out. Exhale, let's sink deeper. Now let's send the right leg behind us and push it out there, hip level. Position your hands so you form a tripod with your left foot. And this is simply tripod balance. And remember, we can stay like that or align your left thumb with your left pinky toe. Start to roll the right hip open and then extend that right arm towards the sky. So we know that our weight that's standing in our left foot is bearing down into our left big toe, second toe. On uh, the exhale, the right hand comes down if it is lifted. And then we're going to step back with our right foot, bringing us into lunge. Once there, sink your right heel down, turn your right toes out. Align the back of your left heel with the back of your right heel. Now start lifting. Let's square our hips to the front of our mat. We've got our knee over our ankle. Our shoulders are stacked over our hips. And then we can add the arms. And they're simply framing the head. We're reaching long and strong with the arms, but we're not feeling any tension in the neck or the shoulders. We're gonna open the arms out wide. Pull your left leg straight without locking. And then let's go ahead and rotate. So we end up facing the wide edge of our mat. Our toes are in, our heels are out. Feet a little wider than hips. Palms facing the sky. Five pointed star. Feel the energy extending out through your fingertips and pulling you towards the sky. Let's inhale and lift the arms overhead. Let all of your fingertips meet. And then try pressing your palms together. And letting the arms come forward Feeling that stretch across upper back and back shoulders. And then we can reopen into our star. Hinge forward and stop once your back is parallel to the sky. There's our straddle airplane. And then let your hands come right down onto the mat. Once there, let's push down into our left palm. Push down on that hand with our right hand. 
Inhale your right arm to the side, and then exhale, revolve the waist, and open any huge twisting straddle. Exhale, the right hand back down. Once it's back in place, let's inhale, look out, get some length. And then exhale, we're melting, 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 melting up. And just letting the upper body be limp like a rag doll. That's not a rag, yes. Shake your head, no. And just hang out. From there, let's push down into the palms. So we've got straight arms. And then I want you to bend your knees and it's like you're gonna to try to pull your tailbone towards the mat. Walk your hands right up onto your thighs. And then from there, press up to standing. Re-extend your arms and you're back in your star. Ready to turn your left toes to the front end of your mat. Align your left heel with your right arch. Everything is open. We're bending our left knee. It comes out over our ankle. We're looking out past that left palm. Warrior two. Let's bring left forearm to thigh, right hand to the sky. Let the right arm start to lower towards your head. It's going to make a full circle. On the way back up, we're going to lift the left and lower the right, and that brings us into reverse warrior. Come back into warrior two. And then go ahead and pull your left leg straight. Now we're right back where we started. Now we're ready to start pulling our right hip to the right. Extending our left arm out as far, far, far as it will reach. Once we can't go any further, we are going to lower the left and lift the right. And there's our triangle pose. So take a little inventory of your triangle. Are you open? Are you flat? Are your arms and legs and spine long and straight? If you feel like you're rotating towards the mat, I want you to bring your left hand higher onto your left leg so that if you are against the wall, you'd be feeling the entire back surface of your body pressed on the wall. Let's take one more inhale in our triangle. On the exhale, let's start to bend the left knee and revolve the upper body. Returning us to our runner's lunge. Go ahead and step that left foot back. Hold your plank. Modify to your knees. Now lower about halfway with your elbows open and hover. And then we're going to press back up. Try again. Lower about halfway and hover. And let's press back up. Once more, lower about halfway, hover. Now let your chest come down and then your hips. Tuck your elbows in, press through the tops of your feet, lengthen your spine, rise into cobra. Exhale all the way back, extend to child's pose. Retuck your toes, come on back up, downward facing dog. How about a few more walks of the dog? Raising those heels, sinking them down. Now we'll step forward, right foot and then left foot. Big toes touching, heels apart. Let's roll up. Reach high to the sky. And exhale to our heart. Inhale again. Exhale, let's fold forward. Once there, inhale, look out. Exhale, sink. Elbows are cradling in the palms of our hands. Our ribs are resting on our thighs. 
We've got our knees bent as much as we need to. So again, we're just letting go. Let's release our fingers to the mat. From there, we'll extend the left leg behind us, hip level. Position your hands to form a tripod with your right foot. And voila, we're back in tripod balance. You can stay like that or position our right thumb so it's aligned with our right pinky toe, rolling our left hip open, extending that left arm towards the sky. Weight pressing into your right big toe and second toe. Exhale, left hand down if it's lifted. Let's step way back into runner's lunge. Push your right heel to the mat, turn your right toes out. Align your left heel with the back of your right heel. And then when you're ready, start lifting. Check in on your right knee, is it over your ankle? Hip bones are square, facing front. Got our shoulders stacked, we can add the arms. Reaching to the sky for your one. Good, let the arms go wide. Start to straighten the right leg and revolve upper body. So now we end up facing the wide edge of our mat. Got our toes and our heels out. Outstretched arms, palms to the sky. Here's our nice open five pointed star. Let's expand and open the heart. Let your head tip back slightly. And then we're back to neutral. Let your palms face front. Let your hands meet and your fingers lace. Press your index fingers together this time. And let's inhale for the arms, frame our head. Lifting out of that waist. Side bend to your left. Come back up and side bend to your right. Lifting back up. And reopening to start. Now let the arms slow down. We're going to hook them together behind us. Let your shoulder blades roll together. Press your heart center forward. Tip the head back. Pull your knuckles towards the mat. Inhale to neutralize. Exhale, begin to hinge forward. Lead with your ribs. Folding down as far, far, far as you can go. Once you can't go any farther, send your arms higher to the sky. And then as we exhale, let the hands release. And then trickle down to the mat. We're going to push our palms into the mat. Go ahead and move that right hand over so it's centered beneath you. Push on it with your left. Then as we inhale, left arm out to the side. Exhale, revolving the waist. We've got our twisting straddle. Exhale, that hand back down. Let's inhale, look out again. And exhale, go for one more nice forward bend. Letting it all go. Crossing down through the palms. We're going to bend our knees like we're going into a big squat. Place your hands on your thighs. Press yourself up from there. Reopen to start. Now we're ready for right toes to the front end of our mat. Align your right heel with your left arch. Everything's facing the side of your mat. Bend your right knee. Warrior two. Center your body weight equally into both feet, but the weight that's in your right foot is in your big toe, second toe. Good. 
Bring your right forearm to your right thigh. Extend your left hand towards the sky. Let your left arm lower towards your hip as it makes a full circle. The body follows and we go into reverse warrior. Right palm towards the sky. And then let's find our way back into warrior two. And from there, pull that leg without locking and we're right back where we started, ready for triangle. So we've got our left hip pulling left, our right arm stretching out as far as it can go. Once we can't go any further, lower the right and lift the left. And visualize your body pressed against the wall and you're being drawn up towards the sky. So we're not feeling any sinking, we're just feeling lifting and opening. We'll take one more inhale in triangle. Exhale, let's start to bend the right knee. We evolve the upper body, let your hands come to the mat. We'll step back, forming your plank. From there, modify it to your knees. Lower halfway hold with the elbows wide. Chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, come all the way back, extend in child's pose. Now let's walk our hands a little bit to the left and push into your right hip. Start walking your hands off to the right and push into your left hip. And then bring those hands back to a neutral place. Scoop the belly in, round, 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 coming up your cat. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. And then we're back to neutral. Let's take a step forward with the right foot, keeping both hands to the inside of our right foot. I'm gonna pull the front of our left thigh towards the mat. And I want you to feel this in the back of your right thigh, in the front of your left thigh. And if you can, you can walk your hands a little further out and, and sink down a little bit more. Let's walk the hands back in. Extend the right leg behind you. Push out through the right heel. Reach your left arm forward, spinal balance. Set the left hand down, set the right toes down. Step your feet back, show me your plank. And let's keep our left shoulder over our left wrist and open for side plank. How do you modify? You simply set the side of your knee on the mat. We'll exhale back around into our full plank. Go ahead and press up into a down dog. And then let's come back to all fours. Now we can switch, so let's step left foot forward this time. Got both of our hands to the inside of our left foot. And we're gonna start to pull the front of our right thigh towards the mat, keeping left knee over ankle. And then if you want to, you can walk your hands out a little farther and just sink down a little deeper. And then start to walk the hands back in. Let's extend the left leg behind us, push out through the left heel. Extend that right arm forward, spinal balance. Bring the right hand down, set the left toes down. Step the right foot back, there's our plank. This time we've got right shoulder over right wrist. We're gonna turn to the side and open for side plank. Yeah. 
exhale back around into full plank. One more downward facing dog. And return the hands to knees. Let's sink our navel, lift our tailbone, lift our head, open our heart, cow. Exhale, round out the cat. Once more, there's our cow. And round for cat. And then just hang out in neutral spine. That brings us back around to have a seat. And let's stretch the legs out, almost straight, but not quite. Hinge forward, see if you can reach for your big toes. And while you're doing that, pull your ribs closer to your thighs. And then try pushing your legs straighter and straighter as you mount down. Releasing our toes, we're gonna roll up slowly. And then once we've made it up, we can bend the knees, placing our hands behind our thighs, dropping your shoulders from your ears, hold your belly button super tight, balance for me on your tailbone. And then we extend your legs, go where you can without rounding. Add your arms when ready. And we're gonna slowly open down, 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 down. Push out through your heels, reach out through your fingertips. Try to go a little bit longer with your right arm and your right leg. And a little bit longer with your left arm and your left leg. And let everything go soft. your arms go wide to the side. Let's re-bend our knees, feet on the mat. We're gonna drop both of our knees to the right. Take them as far as they'll go without lifting that left shoulder. And then just use your right hand to push gently on the outside of your right thigh. Bring our knees back to neutral. Now they can drift off to the left, keeping our right shoulder down. Place your left hand atop your right thigh and just ease a little deeper into that twist. And then let's release and bring our knees back to neutral. We'll slide the arms in closer to the body, palms facing the sky. Start sliding your right leg out straight. And then once the right leg is out, we're gonna slide that left heel out. And then once both legs are straight, I just want you to find that spot on your mat where you can really let go. And let your breath travel around the body. Seek out any areas that remain tense or tight and breathe away that tension. Notice yourself becoming lighter and lighter as if you're floating just above the surface of your mat.
Hope is the only thing stronger than fear. With the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. Let us set aside all of our anxious thoughts and live today with courage, with hope, with an open heart and a grateful heart and extend random acts of kindness wherever we can. Remember that my soul honors your soul. I honor the place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the peace within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united, we are the same, we are one.